Welcome back, uh, and it's the first off. It's the East African community that we are uh, focusing on. In studio, Charles Rumshana, Honorable uh, Jessica Erio, the Deputy Secretary General for Production and Social Sector, Andrew Ruse Kagwa, Executive Director of the East African Business Council. Baguma Tinka Simi Richard, I'm your host today, and uh, the numbers will be running on your screen. Oh, they're already running on your screen. We are ready um, and willing to take some of your calls. Please keep your comments short and uh, keep them civil. Um, Charles, before we went to for the break, I was just saying that uh, we are focusing on the global goals now, the post-2015 uh, sustainable development goals. The question of peace and conflict prevention is one of those that is being focused upon. From what you said, these seem to affect the integration process of the East African community. Yeah, 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 you have, uh, you're talking about peace and conflict prevention. Yes. But here you have conflict promotion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Explain that. Yes. The, the moment heads of states meet and what is running in their mind is to isolate uh, 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 politically, militarily, and otherwise another state, then you already have a problem. Uh, and if you check the corridor, things are not well. Actually, now almost all of them are adorning military uniform. The, the other day, the Kenyan president, who either too was civil, is now adorning a military uniform. That has been the case here. Look at our history. Tanzania hosted, uh, uh, you have to correct English. Uh, 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 they, 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 I'm sorry about it, I didn't go through Nasser. It was church school. Peace negotiations, peace conversations between RPA uh, uh, of now President Kagame and Habian Mana. And there was the Arusha Accord. What happened? They broke it. And, and it says the Ichigari. Who broke it? The RPA. Mm -hmm. RPA and its backers. The same is true with the peace deal that was, also, that was negotiated by the Arab boy, Kenya, between NRA and the, the Rutu, and Rutwa, government of Rutwa. What happened? They broke it. In other words, you have a foundation of, of lack of honesty, you have a foundation of lack of integrity, you have a foundation of lack of goodwill. Uh, 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 and, and now what do you have? Suspicion, you have mistrust, you have schemes and isolation. And he said it. He put the point clearly here that there is no commitment. My dear, you cannot, marriage is not the ring. Marriage is about commitment. Uh, 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 and, so, and you don't have it. Now, so what you are having is a preparation for divorce. And the best method of divorce, if your wife has a smelly mouth, uh, you invite your relatives and you ask her to serve them with beer, local beer. And she will be pouring in their cups as they smell as they share in the other semester. And they will say, eh, but you really with, with stood something very nasty. <laughs> so when you, you find a divorce, there will be an argument. And, and this is what is going on. But, but there is integration. We have Ugandans. Actually, the other day, they robbed, uh, uh, the, the armed robbery of, of the, one of the vehicles of the president of Kenya. Why did it end? It ended in Uganda. That's so, integration. Oh, yeah, it's, okay. They were going to in Congo. They were going to in Renzori. They, they cross over to Congo. It's, ha it's happening. Uh, uh, so people, people have been dealing, the children of Tanzania have been studying from here even when there was no uh, the East African community. But this thing you are talking about is purposely to facilitate those who root uh, uh, their own countries and where they would settle in the other countries. If that facility is not there, I can assure you it would break in, um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in a second. I think I have somebody on the line. Hello? Hello? Now they, 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 and how would this company now compete? The number is on your screen. With, One of the things with that Safari, with Safaricom, we would like to, he, to hear you. Uh, no, but actually the telephone companies are international. They are global. They, they, we don't have, but here we are we don't have local companies. And uh, I think it is easy to integrate uh, telecommunication services. I think that is very easy. But let's see if we can get you. Hello. Hello. Yes, you are welcome to first off your name and your comment. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're calling <laughs> WBS. Uh, <laughs> you can call in, um, the, the, the number is on your screen. We would like to hear your views. We are talking about the East African community. And Honorable Erio, uh, Charles Romshana says, instead of uh, promoting integration, uh, uh, disintegration is being promoted. <laughs> hmm. I, I really don't know on what uh, Charles is basing his uh, allegation. Uh, but I would like to say that in the summit of heads of state of East African community, 
they discuss a lot of issues, including issues. Online. Hello? Yes, you're live on WBS. Your comment or question? Oh, my God. <laughs> including issues yes. of conflict resolution. Um, and sometimes there is a one-to-one -one discussion, and this, at times they discuss them together. But I cannot reveal what goes on in a summit discussion. But no, I must we wouldn't, say... We wouldn't this, expect you to reveal that. <laughs> but but I, 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 should, I, I say this uh, with confidence, that there is a lot of discussion on issues of where conflicts are arising, how do we resolve them, and things like that. Do they? And yes, they do. Uh huh. Hello? This is Bongo Lusei. Yes, uh, your comment or I'm question? I'm talking Mr. Ram, uh, oh, Yes, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Yes. So when you go to Kenya and Uganda and you compare with the country, you have different ideologies, so the, that thing cannot work. Mm. So, yeah. Thank you. That's uh, that's your that is his comment. Um, but uh, the number is uh, on your screen. Uh, kindly call. Honorable uh, Rio, uh, you were saying it can work. They are saying it can't work. Well, I should tell him that in marriage, people still come with different ideologies, mm -hmm. with different beliefs, with different ideas. But there has to be some convergence. You can't agree on everything. But what is the common good that you should agree on? Uh, I would like to say it's not perfect. You can't find human beings who are perfect. You can't find countries who agree perfectly on every issue. So there will always be some disagreement. And that is why time to time we have a number of fora where we get together to discuss those specific issues Let's and find areas of convergence. Uh, it's, going, it's going off. You can still call. We'd like to hear your discussions. Um, the number is on your screen. Your will break. Yes. We have poor regulation. Hello. Yes, your comment or question, uh, you are live on WBS TV. Yes, good evening. Good, Thank you for the program. Good evening to you. Fine. Your name and where you are calling from? Mm. It's uh, Asaf from Namungona. Yes, Asaf. Thank you for calling in. Your comment? Yes, it's currently happening with reintegration. If we are still having this barrier of 15 to 30%, Thank you. Security and unemployment, particularly youth unemployment. Do you engage with these issues? Yes, we do. We engage on these issues. We have a specific committee. Uh, uh, Sectoral Council of Ministers in charge of security, and we also have a uh, Sectoral Council and a specific d department on gender and community development issues that discusses youth issues. We just uh, last year passed the youth uh, uh, policy, the ESC youth policy. Before the end of this year, we're going to have a big conference of the youth. Uh, okay, another caller is online. Hello, we want to have about the call. Yes, your comment uh, or question and your name. You are live on WBS TV? No, ha you, you tr try and call again, we can't hear your comment. I'm sorry. Um, we have a few minutes to go. Uh, and I'll do a quick round. Uh, first of all, to the businessman, who we expect to lead the integration. Yes. Uh, if there is any light, uh, I think we pick our last caller and then you answer. Hello, you are live on WBS TV. Yes, uh, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, my name is Jimmy Smokos. I'm calling from Marana. Yes. I think the biggest uh, problem is this uh, uh, southern community. If you do that, you can't stop the time. You can't stop the time. At the time of implementation, probably maybe uh, one is likely to take up the president's say, Maybe uh, because of the time they have given the power. And I was maybe they may feel they, they may never get a chance, which may put it rotation. At the time, it can be to their country, they may not be in power. So when it comes around to those kind of issues, I think getting a commitment, other percent from all these leaders will be a very big challenge. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, and that will be our last caller. Okay. How much light, if any, do you see at the end of the tunnel? 
if any? The light is there. And Richard, I want to acknowledge that there are enormous benefits of integration. As a business person, I look at the market. I'm looking at 140 million people. In the five countries? In the five countries. And if you take Uganda as the increment, we add about one and a half million people yes. every year. If I get Congo and Sudan, that's a benefit. The issue is that all of us, the five countries, everybody has a role to play. We have to get the commitment that we have the benefits. There's no selfishness. Because we have big economies and small economies. That should be also put into consideration as we move on. But the issue is that are we committed to this integration? If we are committed, the benefits are enormous in terms of sourcing of raw materials, in, in, in terms of employment, in terms of skills, because there are countries which, which have enormous skills. Others have skills with, 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 So the exchange of skills, the movement of technology within the partner states. So in general, I say, the benefits of the integration are enormous, and there's light at the end of the tunnel, but we just need commitment at all levels. Charles, uh, briefly. Yeah, you see, you see uh, uh, is putting it as a diplomat uh, um, because you are saying should it be is it business led if it was business led then those variables would would work this is not business led this is led by politicians bulk of them guerrillas not committed to democracy because if they are committed to democracy then they would respond to the stimuli i.e. the pressure of the voters uh, I think it's only Tanzania that may respond uh, uh, to, to, to democracy. Now, you, you, you see there is cynicism. If you move around Kampala, you will hear adverta advertisements, I'm a witch doctor, Mutura Kungo, from Tanzania. This is what you have from the local population. The product that they have is a witch doctor, is the best witch doctor because it's from, it's from, uh, from, from Tanzania. And, and, and you can't build on that. Now, when they are expanding integration, the leaders who are on the forefront, they get states they have annexed. So you find President Museveni pushing in to have Rwanda because he knows it is his. He's pushing in to have Burundi because he expected it to be his. He's pushing in to have South Sudan because he thinks it is, it is his. Uh, and now, so that by the time you go to vote, you have a broke vote against the others. Then you have rivalry between Kenya and, the, and the Tanzania. So there is no harmony. Uh, 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 but if I have a hotel, I would employ a Kenyan. Because they have proved they can do, they can do business. If you have if you are constructing a road, you will be very reluctant to employ a Ugandan driver, for you will steal the fuel. So, so those are challenges, and therefore they permit movement of labor because of those specific uh, uh, problems. But but as as at an, at an integration level, there is a lot of malice that you kill your own local initiative to promote the Indian, to promote the the Chinese proud to promote the Japanese. Uh, uh, uh. Therefore, you build these markets for who? Besides, if you want to build a market, you must look at purchasing capacity. And purchasing capacity goes with remuneration. Your policy is no minimum wage. So you pay people, people, people poorly. So what will they use to buy? So you have a market of how many millions you are talking about? 140 million. Of very poor people. You move in Kampala and you see most of these slums. Simple Charles, toilets. Simple and Charles, toilets. And Charles, those are the questions that finally <laughs> I want to put and you're concluding. <laughs> I, I, I want to thank you very much, Richard. Thank uh, Andrew and, and Charles. And, and I would like to say, uh, I, you know, Charles does not attend most of our meetings mm -hmm. where we have a dialogue to address these issues. Andrew does. So I don't think Andrew is just being a diplomat. He's being honest. He's being truthful. And I think that is the spirit that we'd like to have all our, via, our viewers out there having. They should have faith in the East African community. But if they listen to Charles, they're not going to have this faith. We would like to see the East Africans coming up, bringing their views on the table, Understanding are you protecting what? Lake Victoria? No, what just there? yes, we are doing. We are you trying are our best. But please, I did not interrupt you when you were talking, yeah, Charles. Please allow me to say what yeah, I have to say. We have, we have about now, the about East African minutes. community is also working together to also access the bigger market of more than 700 million people of the tripartite between ESC, SADAC, and COMESA. More than 700 million people. So when we work as a region, we want to promote businesses 
and activities within the region, but also across our borders. And how do we reach there? We have to see, I agree that there are challenges, but that is where we have the East African community to identify those challenges, have uh, fora to discuss those challenges, and, and uh, make sure that we put in place laws and measures to address those challenges. And this is happening. Thank so you. I thank you all, viewers, for listening to us. And I would like to call upon you to have you faith in you us. May have you tell me that is this bank Charles from, here. from Tanzania? I, I, yes. I, 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 I like to thank you. I like to thank you, Charles. And from this Shana. time is not enough. There yes. are so many things we could have yes, discussed. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much, Charles from Shana. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Jessica. And I would like to ask viewers to log on to our website, yes. the ESC website. Yes. www.esc.int. But Very I think, simple. I think if they, There's so much that they, they can do see a search from there. for the East African exactly. community, they, they will get it. They will get it. Thank you very much, Honorable Jessica Irio, no, no, for coming. You are a former minister, you are a politician. We have the here. youth, they are interacting. You we are a deputy secretary general. Active. And tomorrow we are together again in Entebbe sure. <laughs> at that forum. I hope we can make sense. Thank you. Thank you very much, Buana uh, Kagwaruze, the East African Business Council, the ones that are supposed to lead and you the integration. Uh, of course, Charles, <laughs> thank, you, thank, you, thank you very much, especially for, for those being of controversial. You, for WBS TV, have a good night. <laughs>